Welcome back to another monthly reset. This is now my second reset, which is a lot better because now I have things to compare to. These are the Burr months, as in September, October, November, December, and they are my favourite months of the year. I am so excited that this time of the year has finally arrived. I do love summer, don't get me wrong, I love it when the sun comes out, especially after a really long winter in the UK, but when those leaves start turning orange, red, brown, gold, yellow, and you get the really cold mornings where you can see your breath and it's all foggy, but then by the afternoon it's all golden and warm. I just cannot even tell you how happy that makes me feel. And I always see fall as an opportunity to reflect on things from throughout the year. And I think it's a really beautiful way of nature showing us that change can sometimes be beautiful and to just trust the process. It's now the end of my summer holidays. So I start back to university in just under two weeks as a senior nursing student. But funnily enough, even though I'm going back for my final year of my BSN programme as a senior, I then will be following on from that and staying on doing a master's. So I am actually a master's student but I will be finishing this year as a senior nursing student so excited and nervous all at the same time for that. So there's lots of fun things to come in September so let's get started. This next section is my favourite section. So I'm going to start with my favourite book. This is a book that I managed to read this month and it's by Vex King and it is Good Vibes, Good Life. I'll be totally honest with you, when I first started reading it I genuinely thought it was like all the other life books that I'd read, all the other good vibe books that I'd read, all the other law of attraction books that I'd read. For the first couple of chapters it was very very similar to other stuff that I'd read. When I got deeper into the book it was absolutely brilliant and had so many new angles of which to look at different things and different aspects of life. And it really did cause a lot of thought provoking moments but positive ones. I definitely 10 out of 10 I recommend this book to absolutely anybody who's looking for a way to practice self-care, look after themselves, manifest goals, develop positive lifestyle habits, all of the good stuff you're going to find it in this book. Next is my favourite health and wellness thing and that is the Aveeno Carbon Restore Oat Gel Moisturiser. I have spent months and months and years and years and hundreds of thousands, maybe not hundreds of thousands, but hundreds of pounds on skincare products because I have rosacea. I don't have it horrendously bad like some people have it, but I do have it and it started when I was in my late 20s. Um, and I've had steroid creams for it and everything, but I don't like using them because they thin your skin. Pinky tone most of the time, just on my cheeks area. I don't have it on my nose, I don't have it anywhere else. It is just on my cheeks, but it's very, very blotchy looking and any kind of skin product really aggravates it. Rosacea does dry your skin out as well. So I have tried to find so many different skincare products, even ones specifically designed for people with rosacea, designed for people with sensitive skin, designed for people with dry skin, oily skin, combined skin, you name it, I've tried it. And this is the one that I have found that leaves my skin like silk, no aggravation whatsoever, doesn't make me any more red or any, so or any more sore, keeps my skin really healthy and really does soothe my skin. It is nearly all gone and I will have to order some more. Top class. Next up is my favourite beauty product and well, they're looking a little bit gappy now, typical, but that's because they've been on for nearly two weeks. My Tatty Lashes, don't know falls out, but it's my Tatty Lashes and I speak about these all the time. Little clusters of lashes and you basically put on adhesive in, it's on like a mascara wand, on a teeny tiny wand. You don't need a lot of it, don't be fooled, you don't need a lot. Then you take your lash applicators, so they're just gigantic tweezers, and pick each individual cluster up, depending on the size that you want, the thickness that you want, they've got all the different ones on the website. Literally put them under your lash line. They are so comfortable, they are lightweight, they are supposed to last five to seven days, sometimes 10 days. But these, like I just said, I've been on nearly two weeks. I've lost one tiny little cluster in the corner of my eye, on my left eye, and that was due to my own fault. Next is my favourite film, the new Top Gun. Late to the party, and everyone who's watching this has probably already seen it, but I watched it for the first time the other night with Lee. We bought it on the on Sky Store, 
and I was blown away. Very, very rare that a sequel of a film will come out many years later, decades later, and even be anywhere near as good as the original one. The new Top Gun was as good if not, dare I say, maybe a little bit better than the original. And I was absolutely blown away watching it. Absolutely loved every single second of it. Absolute genius film. If you've not watched it, make sure you do. My next favorite thing is for Echo, my dog. If you are new here, I have an American Bulldog and he is two. And he is actually a very anxious dog. And he was anxious when we got him because the place we got him from, the owners we got him from, did not treat him very well. I'm not gonna go into it, but we are so glad that we got him and took him away from the situation that he was in. As he's got older, we have had nightmares with the neighbor's dogs. So at the back of the fence, three dogs have tried to get through and broke our fence panels multiple times. When he's out on walks, he always gets attacked, never once retaliated, and it's now made his anxiety 10 times worse. He's been to the vets because to get advice in regards to his anxiety because we have tried everything. I spoke to trainers and when I spoke to the dog trainers they have assessed everything and they've said actually his training is spot on and I've trained him very very well. He listens to his commands, he's very good but he needs behavioural therapy. So I went to the vets because that is where you're supposed to start when they have behavioural problems because it could be other underlying things. So I did the sensible thing and went and had him checked over. The vets there have their own behavioural special specialist in the vets which is very unheard of because behavioural therapists cost thousands and they let me speak to one there for the same price as a normal vet so I was over the moon. She said there's nothing else wrong with him, he's absolutely fine and agree with me as to the reasons for his anxiety. Give me a bit of advice on a few things that we could try. A lot of the things I was already trying, but one of the things I was not trying, and he absolutely loves, is his licky mat. Again, I think I'm very, very late to the game with this, but I did not know about this until my vet told me about it. And what it is, it has sucker pads on the bottom, so it sticks to the floor, so the surface, so it doesn't skid around everywhere and it is a silicone material and you basically get a favorite treat like a soft spreadable treat so nine times out of ten that's going to be peanut butter make sure you get dog peanut butter i got this one off amazon um it wasn't expensive at all and then i got the licky mat off amazon too and it came with this little spatula so i got the mat and the spatula again wasn't very expensive get a scoop of the peanut butter and smooth it into the grooves place it onto the floor and the dog is basically indulged for a long time trying to get the peanut butter out the mat next up i have my favorite asd product which i like to share quite often because i am autistic myself my daughter is getting assessed for asd she has Tourette's syndrome and adhd as well my favorites for this month because she's going back to school are the kids karma get them without the lanyard i can get them with the lanyard just to stop them swinging off the neck they come in all different colors blue red yellow green they work the exact same way as the adult flare they're just obviously a different size and more fun colors i don't need to go into too much detail about these because i've got lots of videos in regards to my Flare Karma audio books and I'll leave a link up here for you so you can go and read a little bit more about them and that is all my favorites for the time being if there is anything you want me to link then let me know and I'll link it for you down below so this is the portion of the video where I'm going to go through my finances with you and tell you what I spent this month I'm going to take the same approach as I did last time so I'm going to screen board on my laptop and I will voice over and talk you through everything on there Okay, so just like last time, I'm going into my budgeting file and opening up my budget. This is everything that I've spent in August. Um, I'm not going to put in the dates for privacy reasons and I don't need to tick paid because that's what that is written here. So my rent hasn't changed, obviously that stays at a fixed rate. My gas has gone up just like everybody else's and it is going up again with the crisis at the moment, which... We are all struggling with it at the moment and last month it was only £89.98. Electric has gone up as well. Last month it was only £44.87. TV licence has gone up by a bare minimum of a couple of pence at £13.37 last month. The bills have stayed the same. So water rates are the same. TV, phone, internet, that's my Sky Broadband and TV, that's the same. And my mobile phone and council tax are the same as well. My car insurance has stayed the same. Again, it's obviously at a fixed rate. This next section for groceries and miscellaneous is huge. This portion here is for food alone. And I know that needs a lot of management. 
Uh, the next bit next to it where it is included in miscellaneous are places like B&M, etc. And I forgot to add this in last month. I know it's not food, but it is something that I spend every month. I was in two minds about including it, but obviously, as you can see, it is quite a large sum. So definitely needs to be included in my finances and both things need working on. House insurance, we don't have any of that yet as we are renting. Amazon Prime is the same and my gardener has been a little bit more pricey this time round. It's usually £15 a visit but I needed my hedge doing and lots of weed stuff too. Days out, I have saved a huge amount compared to what I thought I was going to spend. I actually put down £400 as an approximation so given that it's the summer holidays I've spent way less than I thought I would. Gym has obviously stayed the same and again with diesel I had that down at a minimum of £160 but it was only this amount and that it was the summer holidays was incredible. So I estimated last month that I would only spend £2,210. I actually spent £2,317.35 leaving me over by this amount which I am not happy with and I know that a huge chunk of this is from this section right here, which is something that is a continuous work in progress and I really need to get into gear with that. Just realised that I've missed this section out, the loan section is still the same, Indy's money is still the same and my dentist is still the same. So there are definitely areas for improvement as I am genuinely gutted that I've gone over. £2,210 already was a big enough amount, never mind going over that amount anyway. So it is something that I do need to work on and having this trap in front of me is a really good visual aid to help support me with that. I know I can help to save for myself some money in the grocery section and obviously we're not going to be going out on lots of days out because it's the summer holidays now over and India will be in school. So I want to try and keep that estimation down and hopefully going to try and bring it down to £2,000 maximum spend altogether for September. Really quickly before I go through my new goals for September, these are my August goals and we're going to go through them together to see if I achieved them. First up was to read two books. I managed to read one and I have started another so I'm not going to class it as two. I did definitely read one but no I did not manage to get through two. I hit 400 subscribers on YouTube. I think at this moment in time I am on 417 or 18 so I definitely achieved that and super grateful to all you guys. I wanted to hit 1,500 followers on Instagram and I think I'm currently at 1,472, 71. So very, very close, but didn't get the target. Go on lots of adventures. I definitely did that. Me and India went to Monkey World. We went to Water World. We went to the cinema and we went shopping, we went hiking as well. So yes, we definitely went on lots of adventures throughout the summer holidays. Work, book an NHSP shift. I actually booked two. So proud of myself for that and definitely achieved it. Maintain social media plans, which was to upload regularly to TikTok, Instagram, to keep the reels going. Did not achieve this because summer holidays are mad busy. Health and wellness, gym two times a week. Absolutely did not do that. In fact, I've only been once in two months, so that needs sorting out in September. 2.2 litres of water a day minimum, I have been doing that. I absolutely love drinking water, whether it's plain water, whether it's water with a slice of lemon. Make more me time, haven't really done that either, but again, summer holidays are crazy, so it's a little bit difficult to do that. Home projects, finish the front garden. We have now done that, and it's beautiful, and I will be sharing that with you guys, so keep your eyes peeled for... I think I'm going to put it on a YouTube short, because I'm just going to enter a few clips of befores and afters. Finished bedroom, I also finished my bedroom as well, only a couple of days ago, but nevertheless, I finished it in August, that was the goal. 
financial keep to the weekly food shop we definitely do a weekly food shop now I did because i did that was able to get the rest of the money for decoration nursing school prep for september i have started to prep i'm not fully prepped i'm going to tick that off because there is only so much you can do in august to prep for september so i have started buying school supplies so overall pretty good achievements bar a couple of them but we're going to work on them in september okay so the next portion of the video, now that I've gone through my August goals, is I'm going to go through my goals that I've set myself for September. And just like last time, I'm going to leave a little space here so that I can put an insert of the goals that I've written down. That way you can just follow along when I'm talking them through. I do have the goals written in front of me here, so if I do keep looking down, do apologise, but it's just so that I can refer back to it. First up, under personal, I have to read one book. I know I put down last month to read two books and it was summer holidays so you'd think I'd have a bit more extra time to read two books but I just didn't. So I've put one book down, I would like to get through the, a book this month but I do start back to nursing school in just under two weeks so I'm going to have a lot going on there. So I'm hoping to get one book and if I do get one book during a nursing school term then that is a big achievement in itself. Next up is to hit 500 on YouTube, a huge goal for me because that means it opens the community tab. If you're not sure what the community tab is, it's basically that little section that fancy YouTube is writing and it'll come up as something that they've written as opposed to a video. Big milestone for me personally and I just can't even believe I'm on my way to the 500 mark. So to get through to 500 by the end of September would be incredible for me. I've put to hit 1,500 on Instagram. As I just said before, going through my August goals, I am only so many away from that, so I am hoping that I do get that by the end of September. Next up is to cut my hair. Those who know me know that I love my long hair, and my hair is very, very long. Um, it goes all the way down at the bottom of my back. The only problem I have with my hair is that it's very, very thin. And the longer my hair goes, the thinner it looks, the thinner it gets on the end. I did have it cut very, very short a couple of years ago, maybe about three or four years ago now, up to about here, which was a lot. It was up to my shoulders and my hair was about where it is now. So it was a big cut. I'm not thinking of going anything that short, but I am thinking of getting a good cut to maybe about here. So stay tuned for that. Under work, as I've just said, I am going back to university, so I'm not going to be able to do my NHSP shifts. I'm not going to be able to do my care shifts. And that's because I'm going straight into clinical placement. Under work, I have put to just maintain my social media and just do the best that I can with maintaining everything with regards to uploads and stories and TikTok and reels. Health and wellness, I have put on to go to the gym at least once a week. I haven't been in two months more than once and that is absolutely unheard of for me i'm usually in there two to three times a week but things have been very very difficult summer holidays have been here there's no excuses but in general i've just not felt like going and that's the honest truth but going back to nursing school and indy going back to school gives me a sense of routine back and that really helps me to incorporate other things into the routine that's set so i put down to go once a week to the gym so as not to pressurize myself if i can get to go more then i will go more but i'm definitely aiming to get there once a week. 2.2 litres of water per day and as a minimum. I have no problem doing that whatsoever. As I mentioned before, I absolutely love drinking water and a lot of people tend to slack off drinking water in the colder months because they feel that they don't want to drink as much. Your body still needs the same amount of water so please make sure you are still drinking the same amount as you do in the summer. And I've just put on there self-care. Going back to nursing school, it is very, very full on anyway, never mind as a senior. So I am definitely going to do my very best to give myself some more self-care when it's needed instead of waiting for myself to burn out. Home, I have put to finish decorating the hall, the stairs and the landing. Started decorating them last week. Um, it's all just getting repainted, re varnished, um, stairs getting done, carpets getting done and all the good stuff so that is what i have got down to finish by the end of september bathroom and toilet as well so i have a bathroom and i have a toilet that's on its own a very small toilet that is literally just the toilet so i want to get them decorated as well finances i have put to cut back on waste food and what i mean by that is after doing a food shop i still find that myself and lee are nipping to other shops in the week and when i did my finances this month i worked out that over 200 pounds was on random food which is absolutely abysmal and needs tightening up. Going on from that, I have put, again, to keep to my weekly food shop, which we have been doing really well at. We've got every weekend, every Sunday. 
but the weekly food shop has really really been a massive help so as long as we stick to the weekly food shop and make sure we are not going over and going to random shops for random food then that is going to serve us a whole lot better nursing school i've just put down to prep for it so next week or the week after we've got a few bits of online stuff to do before we even start the semester and i have i want to go and get my hair done i want to go and get the last few bits of supplies so that is what that is for I really hope you enjoyed September's reset video with me. If you did, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss my October reset. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate every single one of you that comes to this channel. I hope you tune in for another video next week. I will see you then.